Hi everyone and welcome to a new episode of On The Hook. Today we're out in a Swedish archipelago trying to catch some perch. It's the middle of summer and the water temperature is quite high, so we're hoping for some active fish today. And we're gonna try and catch them on some really fun techniques, so let's head out. Our tactic for today is to fish quite shallow along reed lines like this one. So we're drifting quite fast to cover water. What I've found before is that the perch can be quite spread out among a reed line like this one. So based off of that we're trying to attack the perch in their shelter, the weeds. And we're trying to imitate the bait fish that is common in this area which is usually bleaks and small little white fish. And uh, this is a technique that usually pays off so we'll hope that it does today too. Nice perch on the Berkeley Stanna. Let's measure it. Oh, it's actually a little bit smaller than I thought. It's actually right below 40 centimeters. Still a nice one. Really nice perch. This is a 48 centimeter fish and it's 1280 grams heavy. So uh, I'm really happy with this one. It's actually one of my longest perch ever, um, but it's kind of skinny, so didn't weigh that much. But a really, really nice fish. Caught it on this jerk bait. It's such a fun technique to fish perch with. Now we'll release this one and hopefully catch another one just as big as this one. What a nice fish that was, and I caught it using this jerkbait method. Jerkbait fishing is meant to imitate a dying bait fish, which is uh, very effective for these perch. Usually bigger predators prefer to target the wounded and irregular moving bait fish, which is where a jerkbait really shines in imitating that. The type of jerkbait that we're using today is of an American variant that has its origins in bass fishing. And what's special about these lures is that they're usually quite slim shaped, which uh, kind of imitates the bait fish pretty well. And they also are equipped with a bill. And this bill will uh, determine how deep the bait will run in the water. And when you jerk these lures with the jerkbait motions, they will have a very irregular action, but they will also show some movement when you're just retrieving them straight forward. And this particular model is the new Berkeley Dex Stanna, which is a very interesting jerkbait for perch fishing, pike fishing, whatever you want to use it for, and it's proven to be very effective for these types of perch that we're targeting here. As the name suggests, a jerk bait is meant to be used with a jerking motion with your rod. So what you want to do is you want to fish the lure with quite hard jerks like this, 
while I'm simultaneously picking up the slack line with my reel. This way I have a good connection with the lure but I still want to give it a little bit of freedom of movement which I do by just leaving a little bit of slack line in every pause so that the jerkbait can stand as still as it can be and really trigger the perch to strike. The rhythm of your jerk baiting can be very different. Oh, I just caught one. I was just standing here trying to talk about jerk baits and I just caught a perch. What the heck? I wasn't expecting to catch a perch right now. I was just gonna tell you guys about how to fish this lure and um, here you have proof that it works. What I was just gonna tell you was that you can vary your your rhythm for the day and um, it seems like I found the uh, correct type of speed and movement to trigger the perch for this day. This one couldn't resist my Berkeley Stana. Let's put him back. So back to what I was saying before I got interrupted by that perch. Uh, you can vary your jerk baiting a lot based on different types of conditions. Uh, in the winter time when it's colder water I like to fish really slow. I usually fish with a rhythm of just about one or two jerks and then a long pause. But now in the summertime when the water is warm and the fish are active, I usually speed up my tempo a lot. And that usually triggers these perch because you will twitch this lure fast and then suddenly leave a pause and that's when the fish will usually strike. That's why I feel like jerk baiting is one of the most fun techniques you can use for perch because it's very effective. And I also like the challenge of the extra intent that you have to have when you're fishing this type of lure. Let me quickly show you what type of equipment I'm using for this type of fishing. Uh, for perch fishing overall, my preference is usually to use a bait casting reel with a casting rod. And uh, jerk bait is no exception. I feel like you have a good contact with the lure when you're fishing with this type of equipment. I don't use anything specific for jerk bait fishing. I'm just using my regular medium power rod with a pretty fast action. And I really prefer to have a fast gear ratio reel like this one with an 8 0 to 1 gear ratio. That's going to allow me to really pick up the slack fast and catch up to the fish so that I can set the hook in it when the pauses are made, which generates quite a lot of slack line. You can try out jerk baiting with whatever type of gear that you have, but this is my preference and it works really well for me. perch. I would guess this one is well over a kilo and 40 centimeters plus so it's a really nice one. I caught it on the Berkeley Dex Stana and it's one of my big perch that I've caught on this lure. It's worked tremendous for this type of fishing and now the sun is starting to set and soon it's gonna get dark here but uh, hopefully we can catch a few more of these nice perch before we have to head home. What a fun day on the water that was. Really fun to be able to go out and catch a nice perch and use a really fun technique, the jerk bait. So I hope that you learned something today and I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and make sure to like and subscribe. And that's gonna be it for this episode of On The Hook Fishing. See you guys in the next video.